If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning 100,000 coins on Ultimate Team in my October giveaway, all you need to do is leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Best of luck and enjoy the video. Hey guys, Heath Way here. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be bringing you guys the Ultimate Trading and Investing Guide for Flashback Friday, a new promo that EA started last Friday that will carry on most likely throughout the rest of FIFA 19. And if you guys are prepared and you invest in the right players that I show you in this video, you can make yourself thousands and thousands of coins. So if you guys do enjoy the video, if you do, don't forget to to leave a like on and subscribe if you're on your own here but without further ado let's go on into it so for those of you who don't know on friday ea released the first flashback sbt of fifa 19 and it was celebrating juan fran's 2013-14 season when atletico madrid won la liga and got to the champions league final it's got this brand new card design and it is a significantly boosted up card and i believe it replicates the stats of his team of the season card he had from that same year now this is something which we will see throughout the rest of fifa 19 every single friday and i believe it's going to replace the icon sbt that we saw last year they came out every thursday on throwback thursday i think now we're going to have flashback friday and it's going to be a new promo so every week we'll have a new one of these sbcs released and it will be for a player who's been very good or very popular on a previous fifa and the card that is released by the sbc will have the same stats as one of their previous cards be it an inform a team of the season anything like that now looking at the sbc you have two different ones to complete you've got atletico madrid obviously for his club and you've got spain for his nation and i think we're going to see a very similar theme SBC for a variety of different players with their club and their nation. Now on screen right now you guys can see just some of the players who've got the potential to have a Flashback Friday SBC release over the course of FIFA 19. Every single one of these players has been very popular and overpowered on a previous FIFA title. From FIFA 10 all the way up to FIFA 18, we've got the likes of Dumbia, Ibarbo, Esvine, Butland, Smalling, Jovino, some of those very OP players from previous FIFAs. There are some more high rated cards, the likes of Iniesta, Schweinsteiger, maybe Ribery as well, who have also been very very popular in the past. Ibrahimovic, who on FIFA 14 was just so, so good. Such a broken card. Kuyate, who had 87 pace on his centre-back team in the season card on FIFA 13. Company, who had 83 pace back on, I believe, FIFA 10 or 11. So many crazy cards there. And if these were released, I think a lot of people would want to complete them. With Juan Fran, I've seen loads and loads of people using him in foot champions. I came up against him probably five or six times across 30 games. And that's for a right back. I mean, if you look... Some of these cards, maybe strikers, for example, or centre mids, more kind of popular positions. I think so many people would complete them, especially given that you get packs in return for completing the SBCs, and they're relatively affordable. I mean, I expect the majority of these players would cost about 100k or less, and you're getting a crazy, crazy good card in return. So, if you guys invest, you've got the potential to make yourself a lot of profit, or complete the SBCs very cheaply when they are released. So, there are two main investments that I'd recommend picking up, covering yourself for these future SBCs. The first of which are players who play for the clubs. These guys currently play for or have played for in the past and secondly are high rated gold cards playing for the same nations and in some cases the same leagues as those players now this is quite a long-term investment so i wouldn't recommend spending loads and loads of coins filling up your trade pile and transfer list with loads of duplicates of some of these players and basically just spending a lot of money on it you want to just be aware of these uh, potential sbcs and invest a little bit of coins into them and just stock up your clubs so that you're ready when these sbcs are released to either make some profit or to complete the sbcs cheaply now now the reason for this, the reason it's quite a long term investment is because we've got a long time left in FIFA 19, about 45 weeks or so, so we're going to have a lot of SBCs released over that time. So if you guys, let's say, invest loads of coins into DC United players like Usted right here, uh, potentially for a Wayne Rooney SBC, first of all there's no guarantee that SBC will release, it is likely, it is likely but also it could be a long time till it comes out, it could be maybe 30, 35, 40 weeks and you guys don't want to be sitting on those cards for a really long time waiting for that SBC to come out so you don't want to invest loads and loads into these cards but it's something that i would definitely recommend putting a few coins into uh, if you do have uh, a spare kind of surplus of coins if you've already got your team and all that good stuff there now the safest investments are going to be high rated gold cards just because there's a lot of other sbcs that will require them whether that be player of the month team of the week sbcs anything else like that and you want to cover the nations leagues and clubs that these players currently play for so you guys can just look at the squad of potential flashback sbc cards that i showed you guys earlier on in the video you can just go and pause it and pick up some players that play for the same nations the same leagues and in some cases the same clubs as those players so someone like Sula for example he plays for the same club as Ribery which is Bayern Munich it's also the previous club of Schweinsteiger so if they cover an option like that you're good and he's German so you're covering Schweinsteiger you're covering Podolski some of those cars like that as well so he'd be a really good investment you've got Di Maria now he's Argentine so that's going to cover a lot of those Argentine players like Lopez for example same with Benega these cards are super 
super, super cheap right now. And you've got loads and loads of other cards to get. Maybe Marseille players, for example, that's going to cover you for SBCs, maybe like Luis Gustavo, also for some of the previous clubs of some of the players I've shown you. And they're also going to cover nations, people like Tovan, who's 84 rated in French. He'll cover any of these French cards, maybe like Ribery, for example. Ibrahimovic is a high rated MLS card, and that's going to cover you for someone like Schweinsteiger, also for Ibrahimovic himself. And he's the highest rated Swedish card, so is ideal uh, for an SBC Ibrahimovic potentially. Someone like Forsberg as well, he's a high rated Swedish player, so he covers you for that. And he also covers you for any Bundesliga kind of options, maybe with someone like Ribery or another player who plays or has played in the Bundesliga. So loads and loads of options there. Most of the high rated 82s to 85s on the game are good, as long as they play in a, in a good league with a good nation and cover you for these potential SBCs right here. Now, as well as this, I would recommend picking up players who play for the same clubs that these players currently play for, especially when it's more kind of an obscure club in an obscure league. So especially you want to be looking at those players who play maybe in the Japanese league or the MLS, as these are also the ones that I think are most likely to be released. So someone like Iniesta, for example, he's a really, really easy one to invest for. And you can just go and pick up a few players who play for the club he currently plays for. Now, if you guys see right here, it's called Vissel Kobe in the Japanese league. And you guys can just go and get a few of these cards for 150 coins or so on the the market they're so so cheap there's loads and loads of different players you can invest in and you're getting them so so cheaply they're basically discard pricing these guys discard for like 100 maybe 110 coins so there's very very little risk with this and if you cover this El Kobe you'll cover for Podolski and Iniesta and you can spend about a thousand coins get yourself maybe seven or eight of these players and store them in your club that's nothing at all but you're going to be covered in the future if an SBC comes out you could sell your a thousand coins of investments maybe for like 30 or 40k or you can complete the SBC cheaply and you've got that one covered you can maybe go and get yourself some players from Chicago Fire that's the team that uh, obviously um, Schweinsteiger plays for so you're covered there you could go and get yourself players from this team here which is called Sagantosu that's the team that both Abarbo and Torres play for so you can cover a lot of options with that uh, you've got DC United with Rooney I'd recommend covering kind of the more obscure clubs uh, so uh, just from the smaller leagues really like the Chinese Super League the MLS the Japanese League as opposed to maybe going like straight in with a big club if you go with PSG for example for Dani Alves I mean with those types of cards there they're already relatively expensive as they're primarily gold cards and a lot of people already have those types of cards but very few people have for example Vistel Kobe cards in their club I mean it's not really the type of thing people would typically invest in but if you do that you will be covered and these cards are just so so cheap there's no risk with it at all um, and if you just just stock up and I mean you could literally go and get maybe five or six players from a lot of these clubs um, and you could spend 10k in total on all your investments and just store them in your club forget about it and at some point throughout FIFA 19 there will be SBCs requiring those cards also we could, will probably have league SBCs for the MLS the Japanese league the Chinese Super League and all that so you've got more added on potential for those cards to rise in price it's just such, such a safe investment and definitely something that you guys need to be aware on and that is why i've brought you guys this video it's something that i haven't really seen many people talk about i think run the foot market did a video about this a few days ago um but uh, i think it's definitely something you guys need to know about just spend a few coins on this i mean it's a really safe investment and it's not something that is really gonna gonna be too risky you're spending just a couple of thousand coins to be covered in the future and if you get some of these higher rated cards here it's not just these flashback friday SBCs that are going to make the cards go up. I mean, right now, if you look on the market, Atletico Madrid players have gone up by a few thousand coins because of that Juan Fran SBC, but you've also got the potential for these subs card to go up because of maybe a, a guaranteed Team of the Week SBC that will come out at some point in the future, maybe for Player of the Month, anything like that. So it's a very, very safe way of making coins. Just pick up some of these players. I'm not saying go crazy and get like 15 Tagger Shikis, whatever this guy's name is. Just get one of him and maybe a few other players from the same club and store them in, in your club and, and it's, it's so so easy you, you're not really going to lose out on any coins and even if you do it such a small amount it's pretty irrelevant um, with gold cards like this as well just get them cheaply I mean you can get 83s like Gerard Moreno for example for for what a thousand coins they're just so so cheap and you can make profit in the future I mean in a couple of months time I think someone like Benega isn't going to be 1k anymore he's going to be probably like 2 or 3k we generally see once SBCs start coming out all these 83s rising up right now there's not much that requires the majority of these types of cards so they're pretty cheap but in the future when we have more higher rated SBCs when there's more coins in the game we're going to see these cards rise up and just kind of hold a higher price 
in general and right now they're super cheap so it's a good time to invest but um these are just some of the investments i mean you guys can see this main squad it just features a few players from some of the clubs i've shown you and i mean it's not the be all and end all the 23 players i've shown you are just a few that i think could get flashback sbt cards there are obviously loads and loads of other players if you guys do want me to maybe do a part two or anything i can do that or alternatively just let me know down below leave comments helping you guys out with players that you guys think could maybe get flashback sbt cards just a player who's been popular in a previous fifa and especially if they now play in a more obscure league like a barbo he was super op when he was playing um in the premier league and more more kind of importantly in the Serie A. that's when he was back in his prime playing for calorie in fifa 14. now he plays in the japanese league so that's a really good investment those japanese league players playing for the same club if you guys can think of any other players like that leave comments down below and you guys can look through the comment section and see some of those players and maybe invest in them i mean there's so many players i can think of that i haven't included there maybe like david Villa, for example he's easily uh, got the potential to have one of these SBCs released and to, to, to be covered with that just get some New York City cards and they're so so cheap so some very very easy safe investments anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a like on it subscribe if you're on your own here sorry if you heard my dog barking in the background I got a puppy a few weeks ago and for some reason she's barking loads and I can hear that in the background hopefully you guys can't but um yeah anyway I'll see you guys later take care